Hey guys, I just wanted to do my reaction video to Supergirl season three, episode 15, um, known as In Search of Lost Time. So last episode we have when Wynn's mom coming to see Wynn Jr. after um, the Toy Man died and Wynn still has a grudge towards his mother for not, never being there for him um, after the fiasco with his father and he learned that his mom was forced to stay away from Wynn because Toy Man threatened to kill Wynn if the mom ever went um, near him in the event near him, especially in the event of his death, which he was still had uh, fulfillment, he still tried to have carry out. From a protege, he trained while he while he was in prison, but both people, both of them got out of the whole situation alive, thanks to Supergirl and company, and the two were able to reconcile. Um, and another thing is that you also learn that Lena is be, is keeping Sam in this laboratory and studying her when she real when she, of course it was real that she did realize that Sam and Rainer one and the same, and she's trying to just figure out how to help her with her condition, basically, and find some kind of um, cure for her. And, you know, we can only hope. So it depends on, you know, if everybody else is going to find out about it or not. <laughs> Crazy, sort of wrecking the place. You get everyone out of here, I'll take care of her. Okay. Well, she's a Kalinorian, no criminal record. Oh. Brandy and Emerald want to check it out. Ooh, better them and not us. I hate the cold. It's very thin skin, plus the rivers of blood. Yeah. What if rain and purity find pestilence before we do? They won't. And if they do, we'll be ready. Which means it's time for us to start training. Your body seems to be changing on a cellular level. Changing to what? To her. Rain. I'm not an alien. I don't have special powers. I bleed. I get sick. My adoption paper, Sam from Scranton. Look, I know you mean well, but I don't have the patience for this. I have to go see my daughter. Wait. I thought this might be hard for you to accept, so I also compiled a timeline of the blackouts you could remember. This is the first one. And the next. And the next. And the next. This is a mistake. I need to go see my daughter. Lena. Completely separate entity. When she takes over, you lose all awareness, all control. Your DNA rewrites itself. Please, Sam, understand that I would not tell you this if I wasn't sure. So this is what I get for asking for your help. What's that supposed to mean? You ask an oncologist, they'll see cancer. You ask a surgeon, they'll cut you open. You ask a Luther, they'll tell you you're a super villain. What? Just tell him I'll call him back, okay? It's just like old times, huh? Training again? Except I basically had to twist your arm to train. You had no interest in being a hero. No. <laughs> We've come a long way. You ready? I was born ready. <laughs> What the hell? She's not gonna use her feet. Use yours. Can my cape even do that? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, I won't either for another thousand years. We studied your cape to make mine. It's a Kryptonian metamaterial. Smart cloth. 
Show me. Oh, Dad, no, I'm dumb. The first time you trained me, you kicked me around the room like a hacky sack. It was humbling. I was uh... hung over. You were hung over. Forgotten that part. Do we keep training, please? <sighs> Oh, because I programmed the system. I input every perimeter, every radiation marker to trace them. So yeah, yeah, I think that makes me the expert. Throw the punch. Maybe we should take Throw a break. It. The rest of us were the experts before you got here and traded your friendship with Supergirl for favor with Director Jones. Oh, if you were in charge? We'd still be wondering if Rain was an alien. Now! Damn. Really, coward? Have you ever even held a gun before? I'm holding one now. Hey! Hey! Knock it off! Knock it off! I am always cleaning up your messes. Get out of my face! It is definitely Martian. I just want to go home, Lena. The hell? I didn't want to believe it was getting worse. My father has been using a Martian practice called Ta'a Karik to move his memories and emotions from the decaying parts of his mind to the healthy parts. But it takes tremendous amounts of energy. Sometimes psychic bleeds can happen. The more powerful the Martian, the more powerful the bleed. your fault you weren't in control when you transform i was finally able to get some of rain's dna okay we have knowledge now knowledge is power hey i'm gonna get you through this Footwork looks excellent. Thanks. So you, uh, you punched me. Yeah. Who would cage me? Never. You're right. We have been through a lot together. Like that time you promised you wouldn't leave the DEO and instead you ran off. You got wasted. You were reckless, selfish. You lied and you didn't apologize. Cara. And I... then there was a time I got you a job at Catco. I vouched for you at my place of employment. And then you had Eve do all of your work for you. And then you screwed her in the closet. You didn't apologize for that. And shocker, I apologize to you for trying to make you into a better person. I hear you. I get it. No, I don't think you do get it. I don't think you get that I gave my heart to a lying jackass who was unaware of his behavior towards me, who disrespected me at every turn, and now is this reformed person who, what, he wants to reminisce about the good times? Kara, put this on. Hey, bud. Wait, shit! Ham for me. 
Char. Oh, okay. Uh. So that's Pam. Sorry. They've gotten less goofy, the cape thing. Pestilence. So yeah, that was a really good episode and also like a pretty powerful one and I like how the issues with um, Miran coping with his dementia and realizing how much of a threat he can be around, be to other people, was kind of juxtaposed in a sense to Sam having to cope with and accept the fact that um, she is Rain, that she has a split personality, and you know, in spite of um, the whole not lean on, not figuring out. Um, you know, Kara and um, Supergirl are one and the same. I mean, it's nice that she, you know, she's a Luther, she's intelligent, she's, you know, she's doing the studies and was able to determine, um, you know, put two and two together that, you know, her fr your friend and CFO was, you know, was the, was um, not only Rain, but is also was like showing like a, you know, an incredible level of compassion and realizing that she's not in control of her actions and that, you know, she's trying to find a cure for it and she didn't want to accept the fact that she's you know not you know like murdering all these people and not and um and also the fact that or the i guess or the fact that you know she could actually do this to to ruby at like any time and you also get it's also nice to provide a perspective of what her, her blackouts look like to her like she goes into this like dream like trance and this and, you know, she saw the footage of her using, um, you know, her different powers now. And I feel like, you know, apparently Ruby was enough of a trigger to, to um, trigger the, tra to, for her to undergo the transformation. It kind of doesn't bode well for um, how, you know, whether, you know, if she's really going to survive the, you know, sur live before survive like the rest of the remainder of the season and that may be a determining factor and Ruby can play a key role of, like I guess her own face can determine you know whether um you know they're able to reason with Rain or is she somebody they're gonna have to like you know subdue or kill put in the phantom zone like who knows um again it's, I guess that they're kind of furthering that storyline along a little bit we're getting nuggets about you know pestilence and like the uh, impact that they're going to that that world killer is going to have in um present day and all and what it could do in the future um and i guess like I, I guess maybe it's the, i guess the reason why they didn't put too much focus on it or like give it like too many nuggets of information about it um i guess because they're i guess the writers were worried about the season being um having too many plot threads or being overplotted like season two was. And speaking of season two, the whole Kara and Monel exchange and Kara just like on opening up on like all of her bottled up feelings. And like I said, it um like you know, they had it was a couple that had like some really good chemistry, but at the same time it wasn't built on a healthy foundation and even the writers and they, the writers are finally acknowledging that they didn't do it on a healthy foundation because at Comic Con they were talking about how they wanted to Monel wanted they wanted Monel to be somebody that Kara could fix and then date as a reward, which is really not a you know is really kind of one sided. And they talk about um, I don't know if it was like a hundred percent. I mean, I don't think it, I don't know if it was like a hundred a hundred percent. I don't know just from my recollection of season two, I don't know if it was a hundred percent true about him 
never apologizing for his behavior, but he didn't always apologize for his be He never always apologized for his behavior. And yeah, it was, just, I mean, it wasn't like the most, I, I guess it, it was a kind of acknowledgement to critics of Caramel that it wasn't the most, it didn't have like the most solid, healthiest foundation. And I don't know, I like that whole scene they had between them about, you know, no more pop, you know, no more apologies. And, you know, but it's still, it's, you can tell, like, um, Monel still co come a long way from, you know, being, you know, being kind of the chauvinistic playboy he used to be. He's, like, it's pretty much gone. He's become more, like, heroic, you know, heroic figure, whether, I mean, um, depending on whether people acknowledge that or not. Um, and then you also, and then, um, like I said, uh, like, the whole, like, they had some like really good, powerful scenes with um, the, you know, David Harewood and Kyler and um, Lisa would know he's talking about dealing with your dad's dealing with his um John's de about um, Miran's dementia and and how um it's hard for, it's hard for John because he doesn't want to like he's like he's slowly losing his father and um and it kind of hits. You know, it kind of hits um, resonance with me because, like, I had a because I had a, a late family member who suffered from dementia, and so you know, like the struggle, you know, like the struggle resonated, and and also the fact that um, you can tell, like, John was just venting, where he's like, beating the crap out of that white Martian over the whole his whole frustration, and then that whole scene at the end where Moran apologizing for not wanting to acknowledge his conditions and realizing he's going to put everybody, put them, everybody in danger. And then you have o props to Odette Annabelle for her performance um, and having to deal with, um, and basically having to deal with this whole, um, I guess this whole like Jekyll and Hyde situation he has going on with Rain. I mean, eventually, I mean, so I feel like it's going to be like a matter of time, obviously, probably within, probably within the next couple of episodes that the, um, the rest of the cast are going to find out what's going on, you know, probably, th obviously through James, since he's the one that keeps visiting Lena, at, and be because she gets caught up in trying to, you know, cure Sam and prevent her from, you know, becoming a threat, I mean, I mean, I as noble as that is, I can only imagine that could go so far. I mean, we we'll see. And then you also had the had to worry about um, if not, you know, the the other two world killers that are still out there, purity and pestilence, and what role they're going to play. And probably, I mean, besides probably breaking um, uh, Sam out of, I guess, like Sam out of the. At the facility, I feel like Pestilence might be the one who like, puts um, Ruby in danger and maybe acts like a trigger to sort of like um, Sam succumb to her alter ego, but we'll see. But anyway, a really solid episode. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.